Alright, so for Keen Drunk here, back again with yet another attempt at nail review. We want to go review just now. It's a Scottish ale from Belhaven Stable. And it's a Rabbi Burns ale. Uh, 3.9 on the Richter scale for this one. I'm reviewing this one just now actually because it is coming up to the Great Bard's uh, birth date of the 25th of uh, January, where quite a lot of Scots people uh, celebrate Burns Night. Where they get together and basically eat haggis and neeps and tatties and drink lots and lots of whiskey and tell poetry and sing dirty songs and do all that kind of things. Basically what most guys do every weekend down the pub. So anyway, we'll celebrate Robert Burns. We'll touch on Robert Burns for a wee bit. Wee bit. I don't really know too much about him. He was born in Alloway, Alloway uh, just outside Ayrshire. Well, it's in Ayrshire anyway. And he was born there 25th of January. That's where... The, the main day to celebrate his uh, birthday, 17, what was it, 59, and he died July 1796, aged 37 years old. Uh, he was a famous Scots uh, poet, he was also a farmer, back in those days as well, he had to basically uh, live off the land, and he also was an exciseman. And apart from all that, he, had, uh, he was also a mad shagger. Yes, he liked the ladies. Uh, they sung a lot of, uh, wrote a lot of poetry and sung a lot, of, lot of songs about the, the fairer sex. And basically, he loved them that much that he had uh, twelve children to four of them. So good on you, Rabbi. So anyway, moving on to the beer, and it's a Robert Burns ale. It's in a clear bottle, which a lot of guys out there are going, oh skunk, skunk, don't want to see skunky beer. But this one is available all year round, not just at Burns. I don't know for the rest of the UK right enough, but it is available all year round for us in Scotland. Uh, I think they just, Belhaven obviously might have rebranded it and stuck, stuck Rabbi Burns on it. I don't know, it's maybe been nasty. But these things have been known to happen. Not saying Belhaven do it, but you, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, here we are, it's a sort of uh, dark sort of brown chestnutty red maybe uh, colour about it, nice sort of uh, foamy white head on it so then we'll go in here for the nose and see what the Rabbi Burns Ale has to offer on the nose getting a very very malty a little bit of nut in there and caramel well, to be honest with you, like, I'm not a big fan of Belhaven's ales. There's only one of their ales that I've tried uh, many years ago and I've never seen to see it again anywhere. They, they used to do a cracking 80 shilling on cask. Uh, that was absolutely the dog's bollocks for me. But everything else I've tried uh, on tap or from a bottle or from a can has always been just drinkable. Uh, nothing you would say you would run back and get to, but... Anyway, I thought I'd give the Rabbi Buns uh, a try. So anyway, here's to Rabbi and all the mad Scots out there that are going to up and down the land, and all over the world actually, Canada and America, Australia, all over Europe, they all like the bun suppers. So anyway, enjoy your bun supper when it comes. So if you can drunk, I'm going to try the Belhaven's Robert Buns Ale, 3.9 in Victor scale. Slangy far. It's basically everything I got in the aroma. Lovely caramel going through it. A little bit, little bit of nut. Not very carbonated actually. But it is quite, uh, which is unusual for me to say, it is quite a thick beer. But it's chewy beer to be honest with you. It's kind of, not heavy, but it's not thin. A lot of Belhaven's brews uh, that I've tasted are, are quite thin. In the mouthfeel, but this is actually not that bad. Uh, I'm looking at it now here again, and I can see. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little bit of carbonation going up there. But see, be honest with you, I didn't really get that when I drank it, and I took a, a nice little slurp out of it, as you may well see. You're getting it. Also, you're getting a little bit of roast malt 
coming through now, the aftertaste, but it's, it's not bad. It's like so if you went out, like so if you were going to a bun supper, and obviously there'll be somewhere in Scotland they'll be selling this stuff, the Robert Burns Ale, Belhaven. If you go to a Belhaven establishment somewhere, they'll be selling this. Um, and you saw it, have a go at it, it's actually alright, see if you, you like your dark beers, it's not a world beater, but if you're going to session it to get into the occasion of a burn supper, and you're wanting a few beers before you pack yourself up in the haggis neeps and tatties, and your steak pie, your cocky leaky soup, and your, your cheese, and oat cakes, and then the best part of a bottle of whiskey, <laughs> yes, and there's more! And it just keeps going. Uh, I'd recommend that you, you you try it. It's actually not that bad. I've tasted worse, to be honest with you. It's, and I've actually got this one. It's alright. It's not. It's not got a skunky taste or anything off it for it being in a clear bottle. So I would urge you if you do try it. Uh, obviously, if you're at a burn supper and you see it, they've got it. They've got it on cask or draft or tap, whatever way it comes, or even in a bottle. A few bottles of that before you, you hit the main event of the haggis, you'll enjoy it. Nice little appetizer for your meal actually. Yeah, it's nice. Nice and caramel now. I, I love caramel in the beers anyway. Nice caramel taste, a little bit of nut. Very subtle nutty taste in the roasted uh, malt coming in there as well. Very, very, just a basic beer, but if you're going out for a session, a one-off session, and you want to have a traditional night, it's one for that anyway, I'll give it that. So anyway, I'm going to give the Bellhaven's Best, the Robert Burns Ale, 3.9 on a Richter scale. If anyone wants to know where I got it, I got it in Asda, and Asda were doing it in special. Uh, getting nearer to Burns, I bought this before Christmas, now getting nearer to Burns, they'll probably put the price up. Uh, so in January you might not get it as cheap as what I got it, I got this fairly cheap, just before Christmas. So anyway, if you see it, 3.9 on the Richter scale, if you see it, pick it up. If you fancy being a, a traditional Scot for the night, have a go at it, it's worth that anyway. So I'm going to give the Bellhelvians uh, Robert Burns Ale 3.9 on Richter scale. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Drunk rating. And I'm going to be kind to this actually. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So anyway, if you've had the Robert Burns Ale before, or you can add anything to it, or if I got all my history bit wrong, please leave a comment below. And if not, Enjoy your buns night, your bun supper, whatever you're doing, and all you English guys and Americans or whatnot, have a go at the haggis if you can catch one. So this is so freaking drunk saying, Slangy Va, I'll catch you in our beer review.